Hello everyone and welcome back to Shelter 2 and once again the time has come to move on to the next generation and uh, this was one of the absolute craziest times that we've ever had for the air pole because and I've never seen this happen before never in now over a year of playing Shelter 2 I believe or almost a year of playing Shelter 2 never have I seen this happen before but uh, we actually had something absolutely amazing happen. So we have our four kittens here, but uh, early on, if you guys saw Fox's story, we actually lost Tara to a fox. Yet here she is again. And uh, I'm going to later go on over some theories of what some of you guys have been speculating, maybe what happened. But despite that, here, when it comes time to choose a kitten to move on with... Terra is still an option, so in all technicality, this is a game glitch. <laughs> um, but for the sake of the story, we're going to say she survived somehow, and uh, in the air pool, I, I gave you the option to vote for her, because uh, the game is letting us choose her as a potential heir, and uh, you guys have indeed given the majority vote to Terra, so we will be playing as Terra. And we're going to go ahead and jump in, and over the course of this episode, I will cover some of the theories you guys have put out, because there are quite a few. And uh, this is definitely one of the more unusual and amazing situations we've been in. So we will this time be playing as Terra, and we're going to go ahead and jump in. We're going to start a new game with Terra. I'm hoping this doesn't come with any other game-breaking glitches, but... I, I don't think it should. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Um, if it'll let me click. The buttons have gotten a little bit weird because we have such a long family tree now. We'll go ahead and skip the intro. And here we go. And we're going to jump right back in as Tara. And... Here she is with her kittens, and uh, I'll have to go get my name list out again. Let me let me actually grab that really fast here, and um, I will choose some names. Maybe I'll skip over that because that can be kind of a lengthy process, and we have a lot to talk about this episode. So here we go. And there she is with her kittens. They're so pretty. Another thing you guys have been mentioning, too, is that apparently if you get, um, uh, if you end up getting like, I think it's 10 generations of a certain color, you might unlock a different skin, I believe. So that could be something we might try for in the future too. But for right now, I'm kind of just trying to see where this story leads. And um, that is, uh, right now, we're, we're following the path of the lynxes that you guys have wanted to see. So we may try for that in some sort of challenge, but that that'll be something much later. Give me a moment, I'm gonna get my name list out and go ahead and choose names for these guys. All right, and here we go. So we have our four kittens named. We have Dove, who is female, Bear, who is male, Crake, who is female, and Topaz, who is female. And these are going to be the kittens that we're trying to keep alive this time, and, and hopefully all of them make it. I mean, Tara's had some pretty unique experiences, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how she uh, how she does if that is able to help her. But we're going to go ahead and set out into the world here, and we'll have to go ahead and hunt for food. So here we go. We have all four still, and uh, hopefully it stays that way. I'm always a little nervous setting out into a new um, setting out into a new time or a new litter. So she ventures into the vast open world, a land full of prey to feed her starving family who are not yet strong enough to leave their warmth and shelter. And here we go. There she is. She's setting out into the world. Now, you guys have discussed a variety of theories on just how Tara is able to still be here when the last we saw of her in the last the, the last litter was when a fox grabbed her and ran away. And uh, some of you guys are, are saying that maybe the fox had possibly just lost its own its own babies and decided to raise her as its, its own or some of you guys are thinking that she escaped somehow and maybe she hid. Uh, several of you guys I saw said that uh, maybe she was rescued like the fox dropped her somewhere and uh, she was actually rescued by humans who took you to, who took her to a rescue of sorts and who um, 
from then on, I should have tried to grab that other rabbit. That was noobs. <laughs> um, but who who took her to a rescue and healed her of her injuries and then re-released her. And there are rescues that do that. Now, uh, that would create a bit of an interesting paradox. That was that was one of the more fascinating theory ideas to me, actually, because uh, a few episodes back, we actually found... It, spoilers, you might want to skip a, a minute or two. <laughs> uh, we actually found the mammoth skeleton, or not even skeleton, it was preserved. Now... Some of you guys have said that maybe that indicates that this is this game takes place in a time period uh, long ago in the Ice Ages. Um, how do I drop this again? No, <laughs> I'm used to the untamed controls. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, some of you guys have said maybe that means this game takes place a long time ago before human civilization is what it is today. And uh, some of you guys have, uh, have been theorizing on that. But uh, and that's not necessarily the case, because uh, we found that mammoth at the foot of a glacier, and uh, such things, we've actually found preserved mammoths in the world today. Now, of course, they've been long dead, but when they're kept in the ice, I mean, just the fact that we, we use the cold to preserve our food now in the form of refrigerators, it's very possible for something to stay preserved in ice over a long period of time. Now, of course, the conditions have to be just right because that you, it would have to be it have to be set up perfectly. But in rare cases, those conditions do fall into place, and we have found things preserved in the ice. So it's possible also that maybe this is in modern times, and the mammoth just ha uh, ended up coming out of the glacier as the glacier moves and melts and, and changes. Maybe the mammoth just fell out of it. There's a collectible down there. I think I'm going to go grab that. Because, oh, there's rabbits. Oh, we're going we're gonna to grab one of these guys. All right, I'm going to grab another. There we are. And I want to get this collectible while I see it. <laughs> um, there's actually two. But, um, and we have the, uh, we have the rabbit here, so we should be fine. Oh, we can't actually get it with food in our mouth. Okay, um, let's drop the rabbit grab the collectible. Are you not going to let me grab this anyway? There we go. And, uh, whoa, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Tara, easy there. Oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, so it's possible that this game takes place in uh, ancient times, and it's possible that it does still take place today, just in the remotes of the wilderness. We don't really have an indication on that. Uh, it really just depends. And uh, because of that, I, it's kind of an interesting theory, because I, I would say it is possible, and um, it may be one of the more likely theories. I, I, I mean, keep in mind, this is fiction. And because it's fictional, some of the times things that aren't really possible in real life or that would be extremely uncommon in real life are possible. Um, but I tend to shy away from theories like the, the idea of the fox raising her. Now, could it ever... is it not even a possibility? I imagine it could happen. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of things that go undocumented in nature that we don't see, but... Just because of the way that foxes and lynx are natural competitors, I really would find it highly unlikely. I mean, if the fox came to steal her away to begin with, then I, I would have a hard time imagining that it wouldn't be looking for a meal or just instinctually destroying competition. But, uh, you know, I I'm not going to say it's 100% impossible because strange things do happen sometimes. Um, I do find it pretty unlikely, though. So I, I'm not sure that's what happened, um, but you know, again, who knows? <laughs> um, I as for the possibility of maybe it just grabbed her and she wasn't seriously injured, but then it dropped her somehow and she was able to get away. That could be a possibility. The main issue with that theory would be the idea that then she'd have to find some way of surviving, and uh, she really wouldn't have been old enough to hunt. Uh, but again, you know, I suppose sometimes things like that could happen. I imagine it'd be fairly uncommon. Uh, but again, you know, this whole situation is uncommon, so who knows? Uh, maybe she did find some way of, of managing to survive and managing to escape other predators. 
until she reached adulthood. I do tend to, I think I find probably the most likely theory in my mind, at least, is the idea that a lot of you guys brought up that maybe she was rescued by humans. Um, there are definitely are places that will rescue orphan wildlife. Now, this is a pretty remote area, the wilderness, so it'd probably be... Because, I mean, the thing is, we don't see any human impacts regardless of the time period that this takes place in. So we ha see no sign of humans. So it's clearly a pretty, pretty far away from civilization. But I imagine, you know, if a researcher found her in the wild and she was still alive, but she didn't have her family there and they knew that then maybe it wouldn't be so impossible to think that she could have been taken in to a clinic and nursed back to health, raised, and then re-released into the wild. Because uh, as far as I understand, I don't actually know what the status of lynxes is right now, but I think they're pretty rare. And uh, especially with endangered species, which I'd have to check to see if lynx are or not, and I don't know which uh, particular species of lynx this is, but... Um, a lot of the time in case of endangered species there there's different depending on the circumstances sometimes uh researchers will or won't meddle with the ecosystem so if it's a common species a lot of the time they'll just leave it as it is but if it's a species that's trying to be preserved that's already suffering in the wild and its numbers are dwindling which i think lynx may i think no some species of lynx are um are threatened or endangered and uh, if that is the case, then it is very possible that they might try and nurse an orphan back to health. Um, and, you know, I imagine that even in remote places such as this, the researchers do have to come and take uh, account of how many animals there are just to know how many animals are still out there and how the, the species is doing. So it, they're all very interesting theories. They all have their... Um, their pros and cons, and I'm sure some of you guys have had theories that I didn't touch on. This, uh, these are just the ones that I've been seeing in the comments at the time I'm making this video. Maybe some of you guys will end up coming up with later one or with uh, theories later on that I won't see. Uh, but yeah, so there's really not a clear answer as to what exactly happened to Tara, but through some miracle. She did manage to survive, and she is here now with her kittens. And uh, sometimes the game does quirky little things like that, and when it does, we're going to roll with it as much as we can. But uh, I, I find it interesting, um, and it's definitely a turn in the story that I would never have expected. So let's see if we can catch this rabbit. We want to make sure we get some food in these guys right away so that we don't even run the risk of them starving, and we'll probably be heading towards the tree area. Oh, whoa, don't do that to me, rabbit. Don't do that to me. Where'd he even go? Oh, he's right here. Oh, can we get him? Oh, we got him. He thought he got away, <laughs> but he's not the only one who can make tight little turns. I'm gonna give it to these two since they're already here, and then we'll feed the other ones shortly after, but we're gonna head for the forest because that's an area we haven't been for a while, and I try to put some variety into where we end up staying and uh, the first time we went to the tundra, this last time we stayed right here at the den. So I think we'll head to the woods this time. I think the mountains may be harder because there are bears there and there tend to be a lot of predators there. And uh, the forest probably will not be easy either because one thing you guys have said is that that is where you have seen fires. <laughs> and uh, out of all the things that are in the mountains DLC, which is what we're playing in right now, that adds the foxes, that adds eagles, and that adds uh, fires, and it adds the whole mountain area. Um, that is the only thing we have not ever seen in-game, and I'm kind of surprised because I, I keep, whenever I see other people who've done shelter playthroughs, a lot of them have run into the fires, so we've been very fortunate so far to not, but at the same time, I kind of am curious to see what they're like. I have a feeling they're going to be pretty terrifying, <laughs> but uh, it would be an interesting thing to run into at some point in this playthrough, and I'm not trying to go out of my way to maximize chances. Aw, oh, man, we spooked him. Um, I didn't get into the crouch quite soon enough. I was just moving to do it. Yep, I know how to do that. Um, I'm not trying to maximize my chances of it happening. I want it to, I'm not, like, I'm not going out of my way to get into a situation where we'll have to face fire. I'm kind of just letting that happen on its own, but at the same time, uh, if we do head to the woods, that may give us a little bit of a better chance of actually running into one. And I'm hoping we'll have some rabbits spawn in here because I am sure the kittens are getting pretty hungry. And are, in fact, are they still all right behind me or is someone... They're coming. Oh, are they... 
Um, they're, they're all following still, okay. They're just a little bit slower for right, right now for some reason. I'm gonna- Oh! Oh my gosh! 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 What's happening? Was that a fox? I didn't even see what was happening. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. 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 Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tara, this is exactly what happened to you. Please tell me you'll have a way. Oh, oh, oh. No, we're out of stamina. This is bad. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, we're not gonna make it. I didn't even see what happened. I didn't even hear the warning. Are you kidding me? Oh no. I don't even know who we lost. Everything just happened so fast. Oh, he got stuck too. We almost caught him. Oh, I don't know what happened. All right. I think that was Creek. Oh, you guys. This is exactly what happened last time. And that does not bode well. Was that just us? I didn't even hear. He came from over the hill, too, so we couldn't even see him. Oh. Oh. So I guess if they slow down, that's a warning. Because right now they're all right here. Oh, that was not good. I didn't even hear it. Normally they make... Okay, there's... All right, they make, that's Topaz right there, they make, um, normally they make rustling sounds in the bushes, and you can hear them a little bit, but I didn't even hear it this time, and I don't know why I didn't hear it. I, I don't have my volume down any lower than usual. Really? Oh, no, you don't. Got him. Okay. Um, I don't have my volume down any lower than I normally do. I don't know what about that made me not hear him, but no, I don't want to eat. I don't, oh, and too late. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, Topaz, we'll get you some food. It's just making me go through the tutorial. Um, but I didn't, I didn't even hear him. I don't know why. Okay, there's rabbits up ahead there, I think. Is that rabbits? No, that's actually not. That was just something moving. It might be the leaves. Or grasshoppers, maybe. Ah, I don't know why I didn't hear him that time. That's- that's upsetting. That- that is very upsetting to me. Oh, oh, there's Rabbit right here. Okay. So, I don't know if it's gonna glitch again. I- I don't know what's going to happen with that. Um, or- or exactly how this is gonna pan out. Um, okay, there we go. There's Topaz. Topaz gets this one because Topaz hasn't been fed most recently. Um... But uh, I don't know what will happen with that. I'm not sure if we'll end up... If it... I don't know what we'll do if it glitches, because then we'd be faced with an extremely uncommon situation twice. I don't know. Let me know what you think we should do if the same thing happens again. Maybe it won't. But if it does, let me know what you think we should do, because... I don't know. If it keeps... If it keeps giving us uncommon situations like this, I'm not sure we should take them every time. If this becomes a trend because in actuality well something like this might happen once in a blue moon if it starts happening all the time I'm not sure we really want to go with that because um, it just it's the sort of thing that would if it does happen it's not gonna be every time it's gonna be maybe I mean we've had like what this is litter 13 this would be 13 litters and it's only happened once and if it starts happening more frequently, I don't know. So let me know what you think about that. I can't... It's kind of hard to tell. I, I maybe can check on it this time and see. Uh, because I think it actually didn't... Like, I don't think it ever showed Terra as being eliminated in the family tree. Normally it turns them dark. And so I think it didn't even do that right in the beginning. So I could probably check and get an indication of what we're going to see. But... I don't know, you guys. Let me know what you think. Should we always go with that randomness? Or if it starts happening every time, should we should we start saying that, no, this, this is no longer an option? Or should we have some sort of system, like maybe roll a dice or something? And if something like that happens, then 
uh, if the dice the dice roll will determine whether or not the kitten is actually eligible or not. What what do you guys think we should do in regards to that? Because I'm a little worried it's going to start happening every time, and if it does, then I, I think that would take away some of the impact and some of the some of the um some some of the the randomness and the drama of the game. So we're going to head to the forest area here. This is actually probably my least favorite area <laughs> because bad things seem to happen when we come here. This is the only area we've ever lost two kittens and we lost two kittens because I couldn't see what I was doing in the woods. And uh, so yeah, it's kind of a little bit of a, um, it's kind of a little bit of a, an interesting situation here. And I don't necessarily really trust this place very much. So we're going to kind of keep an eye on things over here. And I think it just saved. So I believe we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.